When I was a senior in college, I lived in a group house. We're all kind of like, I don't know, bohemians. And, you know, there's a lot of, you know, polygamy. And one day there was this very beautiful girl in the house. Someone had brought her over <laughs> and she was hanging out. And she was like 18, so like really young. And Arnold ended up having sex with her one night. And then I think he lost interest and I was hanging out with her. And then she and I had sex. And then I remember her father called our house. And, uh, you know, he was worried about her because she had, she had left home like a few days earlier and she hadn't come home and she had just stayed at our house. <laughs> you know, she just like had moved into our house and, you know, he was worried. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize. And she, you know, she's fine. Um, and, you know, I, I, I took her to her dad's house just so she could, you know, cause I felt bad for him. And he said, you know, she's not, she's not well. I was like, oh, I didn't notice. And I didn't really believe him, but every like now and then she would emerge in my life or in Arnold's life and she would just show up. And she would often just show up on Arnold's doorstep years later, just show up and be like, hi, can I stay here? And, you know, she was in and out of mental institutions and she would call me and go on and on for hours about some paranoid uh, scenario that she was having. And she mostly did this to Arnold more than to me. And, you know, it got to the point where he like changed his number and stuff. And, you know, she had his mom's number. So she would call his mom a lot. And his mom would always like shield him from her and, you know, talk to her, but also make excuses. And she was a beautiful person, but none of us wanted to deal with her. <laughs>